firstly, what I want to show you, this is a public website called MITRE.MICROFOCUS.COM. So what we've done is mapped all our threat detection products to the MITRE framework. So you might be familiar with the attack and MITRE framework, which is a fantastic framework. So, you know, I'll just go through it quickly. So what we've done is mapped ESM, mapped logger, and mapped uh, unsupervised uh, machine learning via Interset to the MITRE framework. And as you can see, very similar, you know, we have the MITRE framework initial access all the way to uh, ex exfiltration. And then we have the techniques covered in default content. So default content uh, means our threat intelligence, our rules that are already pre-built. Built. So as you can see, majority of the default content is actually covered. So let's, you know, uh, uh, we'll, we'll take um, exfiltration for, for example. So, you know, if we click on exfiltration, what this website does is show you the actual content that's covered. So as you can see, the content is, you know, le level two data security monitoring dash DLP, which is offered as free. So majority of this, if I take you to our marketplace, um, is effectively free as part of ESM and or logger or you know part of um, the Intercept family. So you can you know if you if you were to become a customer or if you are already a customer, you can implement these use cases. So as you can see, majority of the use cases are actually supported. Um, so as part of the active active uh, you know uh, packages, there's third party. So SOC Prime is a, a really good example of. The, you know, a, a third-party vendor building um, content uh, for 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 ArcSight um, platform as well. So next, what I'm going to show you. Let me just uh, refresh this, and I'll just go into the demo. So this is my Interset live demo. So you know, give you a few seconds to you know your eyes to familiarize to a new GUI. But effectively, what we're doing is that this is my demo platform. We have you know, uh, example of, you know, we have a, uh, a smart connector replaying billions of events analyzed. And, you know, and then this is effectively based on unsupervised machine learning is categorized these two anomalies and violations found. So it's still 500,000, a little bit more than 500,000, which is still too much for a SOC analyst. You know, what I, uh, and then this software, the unsupervised machine learning models have identified 22 out of the one, you know, almost two billion events that are that a SOC smart person in the SOC still needs to identify. So we're not saying, you know, this is um this is um a magic piece of software. We still need smart people to figure out that these anomal anomalies in the in terms of your business context, is it something that is actually going to be a problem in your environment? So as we as you can see, you know, we we can um, break it down even further to users, machines, and controls. So this is effectively kind of summarized um, data sources, but not necessarily exact data sources. We're taking data sources depending on the model from Active Directory uh, to VPN logs to file shares to GitHub, etc. And then those models, you know, we have around three hundred plus models that are working in the background in terms of this demo demonstration to kick off the the risk riskiest entities so you know as i said pattern matching is always good but also this is looking for anomalies and i'll show you what, what i'm talking about so now what we can see is you know lateral movement initial access so you know the same terminology that you know the industry is, is working towards is the minor attack so lateral, lateral you know command and control etc so what I can do is, you know, I see, you know, I see a spike going up because of my demo data. So, you know, straight away, your SOC managers, your business professionals can see, okay, hang on, we need to dedicate more time to figure out what's going on in our, in our, um, in our work. And just to let you know, this software was invested by a venture capital firm funded by American government agency. So, you know, it has a lot of background, uh, you know, solid um, start so to speak as well as this has this software has been used in you know, a number of digital forensics investigations where they found somebody was exfiltrating software code you know they found that person then the then the company which was a large corporation wanted to know who else was doing this because you know they kind of called called this person and, the, and what they did in terms of digital forensics investigation was deploy this software and based on this software they were able to identify another couple of people that were doing the same thing exfiltrating data so can be used for almost digital forensics and and after building a 30-day um, 
of information. So one thing, the other thing that I wanted to point out, if you are a CrowdStrike partner, we have a, um, we are enabled in the CrowdStrike store where you can, if you're already a uh, CrowdStrike user, you can actually enable a 30-day um, unsupervised machine learning capability by going into the CrowdStrike store and enabling that very quickly. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So as, as you can see, in the top risky is users. So you know, as a SOC analyst, I don't have time to write rules, right? So this is already pre-written. I don't need to be an expert. It's very common language. So I can see the top risky is users. So I can get on with trying to identify what the actual risk is. So quite quickly, is everything is in common language. I'm just going to close this to make it easier. You can, you know, you can obviously zoom in to yearly, 24 hours, seven days, etc. Whatever, whatever you, whatever it fits fit. So what I want to do is, you know, figure out what's bad in my network today. So then there's quite, there's still quite a lot of information. But what I can do is, you know, I, I don't want to see the low hanging fruits. I want, I want really risky, risky stuff. So this is the extreme. So something, something strange is going on around here. So July, between July and August. So Josh Newman. So what I can see is, is a violation and anomaly. So violation is uh, what we call an expert system. So this looks like a DLP system that's feeding data into Interset, that's kicking off a rule, that's kicking off a model that says, you know, triggered a violation for rule credit card data transformation 75 times. So that, that's something that we need to look at. So, and, and normally, so I'd like to look at a little bit further. So Josh Newman worked in this hour, which is very unusual based on past activity. I think this is a really good one, right? So, you know, as you can see, Josh worked in this hour, which is very unusual based on past activities. You can see that he has a work eight hour work period roughly, and all of a sudden he's starting to starting to work at a different hour. So you know, um, in a twenty four hours. So we, normally, where you can build thresholds for your environment and say, okay, if anybody works outside of, you know, eight a.m. and five p.m., click you know, kick off an alert. You know, even in a small organization to a large organization, that is a lot of rules. So maybe writing that rule in an ESM or a logger or into your scene is not ideal. So what this is doing is, is a clear example of unsupervised machine learning algorithms. So as we can see, this is something that potentially um, we need to investigate. So maybe, maybe the SOC analyst you know, sees this and I could download a PDF file simply by clicking here and we can you know create a case and then maybe we do an investigation if this is actually needs to be investigated a little bit further